I've only had the cheesecake. Y'all, look, y'all know y'all gotta stay with me. it was really nice so i just kept it in there um the perfume y'all know i had on my perfume shelf but yeah i got it on here for now okay so let's get into this story time this brooklyn story time so i had just um met this guy maybe some months before then this is my first time using this little space but anyway so this was maybe about oh gosh i had to be about 20 21 because my daughter had just turned four so uh and clearly my daughter's 37. so anyway girl I meet this guy didn't particularly care for him was not my cup of tea at all i think he was cross-eyed or i don't know maybe a lazy eye or I don't know, but he wore glasses. So anyway, so yeah, so when I met him, some friends introduced me to him. Okay, cool. We started hanging out, um, started partying, and things wasn't working out for him. So he decided to go back to New York. So now I'm from Buffalo, New York, which is up by Canada, you know, Niagara Falls. Y'all seen a video, I'll link that video, either put a thumbnail of that video, and y'all can go dig in the crates. All right, y'all, I'm back. I had a girl, the dogs, the cats, the aunt, everybody. So anyway, meet this guy. Things ain't really working out for him. He want to go back to New York. Now, his mom and his dad, his family, they stayed in uh, Bedford Stuyfordson. Most people know it as Brie Boy Projects. So they stayed there. So when we, so let me back up a little bit. So he decided he's going back home. Okay. I'm not going with him. Look, come on. You can stay at me and my mom's. And you can save some money. And then have a nice life, right? So, anyway, me and my mom get into it. And I've never been disrespectful to hit my mom back. Never, never, never. Even, you know, you get older and your mom feel like she still could whoop you. No, I'm not hitting my mother. So, anyway, we get into it. So, I end up going to New York, Brooklyn, New York with him. Now, before we even leave, this is why I decided I was not going with him when he made the decision to move back to Brooklyn is because we used to fight. And this was my first physical relationship where, you know, I was getting into physical altercation. And so um, I remember we went to Attica. We went to go see his brother and we all sitting at the table, me, him, his brother. We at Attica. So Attica is a, like a maximum security uh, prison. Prison, not jail, not detention center. Prison, right? It's upstate New York. So anyway, we go see his brother. I'm not trying to intimidate him. I'm not trying to make him look bad in front of nobody. Definitely not his brother. So we get to laughing. Like I said, I thought he was like cross-eyed, lazy eye a little bit, but he wore glasses. So we was laughing about something, me and his brother. And so he started laughing and I went like this, like you so silly. And it knocked his glasses off his face and he was pissed. I could see it in his eyes. I'm like, oh, here we go. When we get in the car, he gonna act like everything is everything in front of his brother. But when we get in the car, oh, he finna act the ass, right? Sure enough, we get in the car. He was like, why you knock my glasses off my face? I'm like, it was an accident. Like, you can't see that it was an accident. Like, why would I knock your glasses off your face? So anyway, we driving, cause he ain't doing nothing on them prison grounds. So anyway, we driving, whatever, whatever. All I know, is this nigga backhands me like my mama like sir so y'all know i had to jump all over him girl 
I told him, my girl, his face was all red. It was all bloody. So he gonna have the nerve to tell me. I'm gonna punish men until his face heal up. Sir, I'm a grown ass woman. I might be 21. I think 20, 21. But I'm grown. How do you feel like you gonna put me on punishment? Okay, so anyway. No, I was not on punishment. He was just talking shit. So anyway, it was other situations, but it was still us altercation. So anyway, um, one time I called him talking to his ex about what he was going to do to her and this, this, that, and the third. Like, not fighting, but like like if they still was together. You call your boo thing, oh yeah, I can't wait to see you because when we get together, oh, I'm going to back it. Uh, uh, uh. It was one of them type of phone calls. I'm like, sir, who are you talking to? And I know he was talking to his ex. So anyway, we get into a fight about that. I'm like, how you want to fight me because I caught you talking to your ex? So anyway, so those were just some reasons why I wasn't going to go to New York with him. So anyway, me and my mom get into it. I decide, okay, I'm going. Forget this. I'm out. Let's go. Now, I already knew what it was like. He, oh, I'm not going to do that, and it's going to be different. And when I get home, I'll be back in my own element, and, you know, it won't be none of that craziness. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So we on the road. This is why I first learned how to drive on the road. He taught because driving on the road and driving on, the, like, in the city is two totally different drivers. So he taught me really how to drive on the, the road initially. So anyway, girl, girl. Girl, that's, that's, that's I, I, I can't even say nothing else. Girl. So we in Brie Boy Projects on Fulton Avenue in the heart of the 90s. I mean, I think it might have been like 91, something like that, like super early in the 90s. So we upstairs, we with his mom and his dad. You know, the projects there is not, well, those particular projects, I don't know about a whole bunch of other ones. They go according to your income. So his mom and his dad was paying almost $1,000 living in the project. So girl, I must have said something he didn't like. I don't know what that could have been. So he like, cause his mom and dad didn't smoke. So he like, come on, let's go downstairs and smoke. So I'm like, okay, so we go downstairs. Girl, I go in my little purse and I'm getting my cigarettes and I'm like, yeah, I'm in New York. Like, yeah, what's up? Where, where the party at? You know, all the stuff that I've seen on TV. Like, let's get to it, right? Girl, when I turned around, when I tell you, this man smacked the dog mess out of me. Like, I seen stars, I seen moons. I, 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 I seen that little gazoo from the Flintstone, that little guy with the hell. I seen him too. I, it was just some stuff that was going on in my head, girl. Oh my Jesus. Uh, I'm like, oh my God. I don't have no money. I done left my mom, my safe haven, Buffalo, where I'm from, or my family, because... I want to show you. I'll leave and hurt you, but I already knew how things was with, with this person. I got my baby with me, and I don't have no money. Talk about young and dumb and stupid, right? So, anyway, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. So, of course, the beat goes on. That continued. Now, I'm a fighter. We're going to fight. We, 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 we just going to make some stuff shake. Now, look, sir. So, anyway, we, um, I'm talking to his mom, and his mom was like, so now, this a little while after we've been there. So, his mom was like, oh, you know, because you figure you talk to mom, and you figure mom would talk to him, like, you know, you got that girl out here with her baby. You act like you got some sense, right? <sighs> no. And I live in Georgia right now. And I'm not even going to tell y'all her name was Georgia. And I'm not even making that up. Her name was Georgia. I'm not going to say her last name. Girl, she told me his father used to be just like this. He'd grow out of it. Girl, I'm not waiting for your son to grow out of whooping my ass. Where'd he do that at? So anyway... 
because I'm smart. So I devise a plan, right? So I get my little public assistant and I'm like, okay, I'm out. So I go, I stay in a shelter in um, the Bronx. Where was I at? 157th Street. I was by Yankee Stadium. So anyway, go there. I meet this girl, me and her. And like my daughter is still friends with her kids. We just stayed in contact. So I meet her. So I come out the um I come out the um the shelter. Me and her, we stand with her mom. So I'm out, I'm hanging out. Now by this time, I done met me a little boo thing. And I'm like, you know, this is more of my flavor, cause this they crazy, right? So I'm hanging out in the pro I'm hanging out my granddaughter. So I'm hanging out in the projects, not Brie Boy project, because these some down the street. I can't think of what the name of them was. Crown Heights, Heights, something. I don't know, but anyway, I'm over there. So this dude King, he like, what's the problem? Cause like I see him, so I'm acting shook because his mother and them were Jehovah Witnesses, and they went to the um the hall right there by those projects. So I see him dropping his mother off. So I'm like, oh my God, right? Cause you know, early in the morning, you gonna hang out in the projects, ain't nothing else to do. You get your little drink on, you swerve on. I was doing everything. And every and anything I was doing. So anyway, girl, I started the hard ass. Girl, he was like, where you going? I'm like, I'm out. So girl, I mean, he did everything short of yanking me in my collar. So he like, what's going on? Tell me what's up, sis. Now, this is what no dude, me and him had no sexual relations, nothing like that. He was just cool, and he took a liking to me, you know, as a sister or cousin, whatever. Nothing sexual. So anyway, I started telling him about this dude. He told me, he said, I bet I never see you running from him or nobody else. He was like, you got a problem, you let me know. If I ain't around, you tell them who I am. And I bet you, you won't have no problem, right? So anyway, he said they won't F with you, but I didn't want to say that. So anyway, so long story short, what I'm going to say, y'all know what I'm going to say. Y'all know how it go. Me and dude got back together. So me and him get back together. Woo, woo, woo. I don't know why I got back together with him. I mean... Looking back at it now, I think I got back together with him just for the um, security. Because one thing for certain and two things for sure, the brother made some money. Even when he was living in Buffalo, he was a welder. He, he had three cars. That's how I ended up getting my license. Because he was like, you can drive. He was like, I don't care which one you drive, but you got to get some license. So he had money. His family had money. So um, it was like, okay, it's not that bad. You know what I mean? Because I'm staying at her house, you know, her mama house. It's a house full of people there. Her sister, her daughter, they brother, and they mama. And girl, it was just, you know, I appreciate them letting me stay there. Don't get me wrong. So anyway, go back together, get back with him. Now we living on Pickin Avenue and where was he living at? Pickin and Liberty Avenue, we was living at Liberty Avenue, 114 Liberty Avenue, right? So his uncle, his mom's brother had like this room in the house. Like they stayed downstairs and we stayed upstairs. No, they stayed downstairs and the upstairs was like a room in the house. Each room was separated and they charged people for each room. So now when you come, when you come on the porch, it's like a big sitting room. So we stayed there. The sitting room was connected to their house, but they kept that locked. So, you know, we couldn't get in there. Well, we had to go upstairs and take a shower. But we slept downstairs on the main floor. So, anyway. Girl, me and him. First of all, he choked. When I say he choked the mess out of me, I was on the ground. And I'm talking about, like, this is the thing about New York. Like, either people going to get in your business or people going to walk by you why you in your business, whatever that might be, right? So he choking me. I'm like, I can't deal with this. So we go back into the room. So we choking me outside. So I'm talking to his aunts, cousins, all that. But this is this his people. So they're going to have his back regardless. So anyway, 
girl, we get to arguing again on another occasion. And he took a glass and threw the glass at me. But like where we were at, we had like our bed, which was like a full bed. And then we had like a, um something like what Nunu has now. It's like a um a cot bed. And it was like a single bed. I told y'all she was a single bed. So anyway, um, so that's where my daughter was laying on that. So our bed was like on this side. And then her bed, the the area we were in was like a huge porch area room. So anyway, my daughter right here. And then it's the double doors. So anyway, we standing there, we arguing, da 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 da, da. we going back and forth, back and forth. I don't know what I said because my mouth, I could say some stuff, right? So he took a glass and threw the glass at me, but when he threw it at me, it hit the window, like the double door, and the glass went down like all over my daughter, all on her bed, everywhere, the glass. So anyway, I'm yelling, I'm fussing, I'm like, you know, da 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 I don't want to do all that cussing and all that N-word and all that, but I'm saying all of that, right? So, I managed to get myself together, get my daughter together, get her wise bags, change her bed, do all of that. So, get her straight, um, get her sleep, get her situated. She all off in la-la land and, you know, it's like, okay, what are you going to do? Now, if you want to be a butthole and be doing whatever, that's you. This little girl don't have anything to do with that. You need to get her to safety. Never mind what you want. You know, it's a thing now that says you can't save your face and your ass at the same time. So at that moment, I had to make a choice to save my ass, you know, along with my daughter. So anyway... Back then, you got paper food stamps. Um, so that night, I woo woo woo, made sure he was straight, made sure he was happy, made sure he had a smile on his face, like, you know, oh, it's my fault. Da -da 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 -da. We made some stuff shake, and he went on to work with a smile on his face, okay? So I waited about an hour. I waited about a good, solid hour to make sure he didn't double back, nothing, nothing like that. I had the money to catch the bus. From Manhattan. So, paid the um, cab driver, yep, in stamps, because you got paper stamps back then. I'm like, I need to get home. Me and my daughter are not saved. I'm in an abusive relationship. I need to get back home. You know, I just have the money for, you know, the bus ticket. So, I'm at the, um, the bus ticket place. I am a nervous wreck because I just know that this man is just going to come busting through there at any minute. Even though there's all them people there, I still felt like that, right? So my daughter didn't have no shoes on. When I realized the coast was clear, I grabbed whatever I could grab, like important papers, whatever, my purse, um, my wallet, um, I think a dial or something for her, and we was out the door. I didn't care about none of that stuff that was in there. As a matter of fact, when we got back to Buffalo, my daughter didn't even have no shoes on her feet. I didn't care about no shoes. Our life was at stake because if you choke me out like that, what's to say you won't do it for 10 or 15 seconds more? And now I'm dead. Now who got my daughter? You understand what I'm saying? I had to make a life or death decision right there. I didn't have the time to pack it. You know how they do on, the girls do on YouTube, pack with me. I didn't have no time to do no damn pack with me. I, 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 I had to make a mad dash. Make a mad dash with me. Come on. Let's go. So, anyway, get back home and girl, his mama was calling me. His sisters was calling me. I'm never going back there ever again. F you and F your son. Period. And they wasn't even saying period back then. So, anyway, I noticed it was a, um, a, a, like a year or two later, some pictures that me and him took was on my porch. Like I came outside and the pictures was laying right there on the porch. 
And I'm looking around because I know these pictures. I know where they were taken at. I know who I was with. So I knew that he knew where I lived at. I was by this time I wasn't scared of him. I, you know, got my courage back up, got my self-esteem back up. Um and just believe that God was going to keep me, um, that that was just a decision I made. That was a bad decision. I deserve way better than that, right? So anyway, um, that's my story time in Brooklyn. Girl, look, now I take the coffee all day from Junior's. I will. Give me some Junior's coffee, $1.25, at the dollar twenty-five cent store, the Dollar Tree, I take that all day. You keep that nigga though. Keep him with you, girl. I ain't even gonna tell you. One day, I had blocked him so much out of my mind. One day, when this one, I was heavy on Facebook, like all into Facebook, right? So I get a friend request on Facebook, and I'm like, when I seen the name. It kind of sound familiar and it kind of didn't, but it more or less didn't sound familiar. And I'm like, who is this, Dennis? Who is this? Girl, I'm not going to tell you when I went to, because you know you do the little click and you see who it is. I'm not going to tell you when I seen who it was. Girl, I blocked his ass so fast. I don't want to be your friend in real life. I know I don't want to be your cyber friend. No. Not at all. Goodbye. The, what you just heard right there, crickets. Yes. So anyway, girl, so get done. Done with him. Ain't dealing with him no more. So, you know, now I want to bring it up to today, right? So y'all see my dress. I'm looking cute. Never mind what you think. I feel like I'm looking cute. Got a little cleavage showing, you know. Ain't got much up here. Um, I can't be re-raised. I, I, I just can't. Now, Patricia and Winford. That's my mama and my daddy. Now, they did all the raising that I was going to get. They did the best they could. Now, I made some mistakes. Along my adult journey, I done been to jail in my adult journey. I done been homeless in my adult journey. I done made some decisions that just was not conducive to me having a healthy lifestyle, right? But one thing I'm not going to settle for is somebody thinking that they could re-raise me. Now, when I do what I do, I do what I do because I feel good about me. Right? I don't have to let how you feel or your perception of me determine how I move in life. You understand what I'm saying? Now, y'all know I had that orange dress on the other day. And I think the last video or the video before that. I wanted to wear that dress. I felt beautiful in that dress. I felt sexy in that dress. I felt elegant in that dress. And I was on my grown woman shit in that dress. But I get a phone call. Somebody ain't like that dress. Well, guess what? You can kiss all of my fat ass. I'm talking about with the stretch marks. I'm talking about with the crooked toes. I'm talking about with the patches in my head. You can kiss all of that. I'm not conforming to what somebody else think I should be. No, I'm not living my life like that. I don't have to. And that ticked me off because why you can't accept me for who I am? You know, and the thing about it is, I'm just talking about where I am in my personal growth and my personal journey. I'm not letting nobody dictate who they think I should be. I'm not living my life like that. So you mean to tell me if I die tomorrow, but I don't wore what you wanted me to wear, I don't acted and responded the way you think I should, I don't wore my hair wrapped up, covered up, draped up, whatever, because that's what you wanted. And now, I was unhappy the whole time. And now I die. 
Ma'am, if you are not happy, if you are not satisfied, you know, you take an hourglass and you turn it upside down. If you feel your self-esteem dwindling, baby, leave. He ain't the only one. And for men, too. She ain't the only one. Don't reduce yourself to a fraction of what somebody else thinks about you. You are worth your weight and gold. That's it. I, I ain't gonna run this thing in the ground. That's it. And I look super sexy. So, whoa. So, whoa. I'm just a clacking, clucking and clacking. So this is my little um thing. Y'all seen this? You can't really see it over here now. Let's see. Oh, I'm, I'm so sexy. Oh, shucks. Oh, I'm about to say. Y'all want to hear it? Okay, here it go. Ooh. If you're sexy and you know it, clap your hand. Now, if you still make mistakes, clap your hand. If you make mistakes, clap your hand. That's because I'm human. Yeah. Yeah.